hey guys welcome back to my channel long time no see we are going to be actually stuffing my savings challenges and then also some of my sinking funds so if that is something that you guys want to check out and see please stay tuned all right guys so it has been a while a while yeah so i've got to get back on track with my videos i've got to get on track with my with my budgeting um i have been actually just doing business stuff super duper busy okay all right so today we are going to be stuffing 215 dollars all right, so let's go ahead and count our cash, guys, and see if that is what we got. I'm put this up a little bit so I can have my tray. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so we do have 215 uh, stuff over here. So I hope everybody is doing good. I have been crazy busy. I'm thinking about taking after I get everything done, maybe taking like a break or something. Cause like I said, I always feel like if you feel like your body's doing too much or whatever, whatnot, go ahead and take a break. Don't try to push it. Listen to your body. So another good thing is we are going to be starting back up the 50 envelopes savings challenge. At first I was like, I'm going to wait till the beginning of the year. And then I was like, mm. I was like, that challenge did so well for me. So I probably will end up just going ahead and starting it. So I, um, what that is, is basically you have like one through 50 envelopes in each week or each day. You pick what you want to do. You pick what envelope you want to stuff. Some people have different methods of how they pick, but I just work with what I have left, um, or what I have available from my cash that I have um, and it is super early y'all so mm -hmm. that's why I am talking super low and my voice is like this right <laughs> okay so this was my last um, round of doing the 50 envelopes and I did do two boxes um, if you're like low income you can only do one um, I did two 50 boxes because it's a lot easier for me than the 100 um, envelope box challenge so this is what I did so this time I got a lot of suggestions last time because I was like which boxes in which which boxes in which so you guys did tell me it was like why don't you just label it pink for the pink box and purple for the purple box so that made it a lot easier so I am just well, I'm thinking if I should just do the same color for the card which I might do and I might switch it up later. All right, so we, let's go ahead and open up these boxes. And these boxes do take a long time to make, y'all. So I haven't put any, like a lot of them on my site. So um, yeah, I just do them pretty much sporadically when I have actual time to do it. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our pink card. Um, we're gonna do $20, so we're gonna put one $20 bill. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly this is how it works. All you do is figure out what you're going to, and I'm going to go ahead and mark the box first because I know last time I was skipping the boxes. So we're going to do $20. And that will be, oops, I'm going to need that. So we're going to find a 20 envelope. And then we're just going to basically stick. I forgot how I did this. Last time because I did it a special way. I don't know why. I think it's this way. So it can kind of come up top like that. So I think that's how I figured it out. So we're going to do, and then all you do basically is just put it back in the slot that you had it. Okay, so next we're going to do $10. So we're going to do one $10 bill. And this is seriously a lot easier just going one box one card instead of hunting around for it all right and these cards you can actually find these on my website um, or my Etsy shop I do have these available I don't have the boxes like I said they take a long time to make so I have to do those like in my spare spare time and my spare time is down to a minimum so all right this I think this fell back down there we go all right, so next we're gonna do $8. So we're gonna do four twos. 
I know people always say, those twos are so cute. Yeah, our bank has them. And this one is 2017 series. So we got two, four, six, eight. So we're gonna put eight dollars. And I don't, I don't put something in this like every other day or whatever. I just put, like I said, I just work with what I have. So. Eight. Okay, so I think that's all we're gonna do for the pink box. For the pink box, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move this out the way. We're gonna slide you down here. And then for the purple box, we're gonna do $20 to you. So one twenty dollar bill. Yo, look at this old twenty dollar bill. This is nineteen seventy seven. Hmm. That's an old little bill. All right, so we got twenty in. I need to make sure that I color the box. And I'm gonna do this with purple so I can kind of keep up with everything. All right, so then we're gonna do $2 and I'm just gonna do a $2 envelope and I'm gonna go ahead and color this box in. Like that. All right, I think that might be better. Might be a better idea. So we got $2. All right, so let's go ahead. We can move this right onto the side. And I normally just keep my envelopes in here. So, right here. And I normally just put this in here. So that way, the next time, because I will lose these things in two seconds. <laughs> Alright, so we are done with our 50 envelope challenge and y'all see exactly how super easy that was. Okay, so next we are going to rock with the self-care challenge. This is a new challenge that I have. This one is actually in my shop now. So I had a lot of people ask me, do you have this in, in stock? And now it is actually available. Um, and these are just expander, not expander rings, but medium rings that I actually added to make it a little bit bigger. But yeah, they're finally ready in the shop. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna basically do like this so I have some room. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my card out. This does have two challenges. You have one that you save 210, you have one that you save 300. You can swap back and forth, but I'm just going to do this one first and do this one. If you need to pull from the envelope, super easy. Pull what you need to pull and then just erase it because these are reusable and then just keep on trucking. All right, so we are actually going to be doing 14 my marker. Let's see, 14. Now, I don't actually have four ones, so I'm actually going to do one over. You guys know how I am about doing a little bit extra um, with these challenges because I don't have time to be breaking up fives and ones. So um, we are actually going to be, I have to figure out how I folded it. So then all we do is basically find the envelope 14, 14, and we just pretty much put that in there. So that is done. Next, we're actually going to be doing, let's do 11. Yeah, I'm doing this out of whack. Okay, so we're going to check 11. So I don't actually have, I'm going to actually scoop my money tray over this way just a tad bit. Okay, so that way we can have this leg pretty much flat because that was kind of bothering me. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a one, so I am actually going to look in my binder. And I just add these to the sides also, guys, because you know I do have the bigger one that I use as my pay it off binder. So this is an A6, and these are actually sold out on my website. Um, and this is the A7 version. Oh, it's so super cute. All right, so I'm actually going to a borrow, I guess that's what we're gonna call it, a one from here because I want it to be correct 
if it I don't want it to be under let me rephrase that I don't want these challenges to be under I would rather for it to be over instead of like instead of 11 I'm doing 10 so I'd rather do like 12 or whatever whatnot okay all right so we're gonna do that and we're gonna do 10 I know I don't want to make it complicated all right so that all right so I think we're gonna do 18 all right so let's go find 18 and I don't have any changes you can see so we're just gonna do 20 and I can put this old school 20 in here I don't know I just don't want I don't know I just don't want to put it in there So we're gonna have so that way when we do take our cash out we'll have more in here than what is actually supposed to be for the 210 all right so i think we are pretty much done with this binder here and like i said these are available um on my website now so the weight is over i'm just gonna put that in there and then we'll do that okay I'm just gonna stick this here. Okay, so next I'm gonna do my little binder. I switched pocketbooks, so I needed a smaller binder than what I was using. So, and like I said, I, I just like switching binders. It's so it's therapeutic, as you can say. All right, so we're gonna take, I'm gonna add extra to gas. And it's almost time for um, bi-weekly cash stuffing anyway so we should be fine but I do want to add more to gas so gas we're going to do $60 so we're going to do $20.46 oh I'm going to actually put these in there because that it's like marker or something on there so that way I can get rid of that one super fast and this one so we're going to do this and then we're gonna put this in there for gas. And it's about time for me to fill up, but when I do my cash stuffing, I will be able to put more in there. So then I am actually going to give myself $20 for beauty. All right. So we're gonna do one $20 bill. That. All right. And we are pretty much done these binders okay all right so next um, I do want to put some in my important binder which is this one here and we are going to add to electric I wanted to just make it an even a number um, and y'all I did not find my trackers I had to put new trackers in there I have no idea where I stuck those trackers so I had to start from scratch <laughs> Um, so we are actually, we got 95, so I want to make it an even number and I can go ahead and put these up. So, um, yeah, so we got 10, not 10, we got 11. Oh my goodness, 11. So we're going to add cash. So we're going to add five and then we're going to have a hundred. So that way we'll have an, uh, basically a whole hundred not hundred dollar bill, but a hundred amount in here. So we're gonna add five dollars. So we should give us 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Look at that. And y'all, I'm trying to do better with these trackers. Cause I used to do really good, but then I kind of got super busy and then I'm like, kind of drop the ball. Okay, so Loda, um, we are actually gonna be adding $25. Cause like I said, I wanna make it an even hundred. So we got 1109. So we got add cash. And y'all, after this video, y'all, you know exactly where your girl is going. I've got to answer my um, emails because a lot of my emails have been going to like my junk and spam. So I'm like, so I, it's like a couple days after I get the email and then it's like, and when someone returns the email, it goes back to my spam. So I'm trying to figure all of that out. That is so frustrating. Cause like when things like of, you know, like the customer service, I need to have my emails and, and then also I sometimes I forget to check my, 
request folder and then it's something that some messages that are hitting and then i'm like what is happening so i have to go through all those so it's a lot okay so we got 20 40 60 70 75 80 85 90 95 100 so if you email me and i didn't respond yet and i it's not that i'm trying to dodge you it's just yeah i have to check all those different folders it's yeah the request and then the spam that's pretty crazy all right and i'm trying to figure out how can i do that for future emails um so they won't go to junk or spam or whatever all right so i think we are pretty much done um and, oh yeah and everybody has been asking me about this calculator so this calculator i got it off walmart because you know walmart even though it is walmart it sells from individual sellers um and i've been checking and it's been pretty much out of stock so you have to it, it, this little calculator is like expensive um, so this could be one of like your sinking funds, but you have to catch it because I was lucky to catch it when it was like it went down and it wasn't expensive as what it is because I looked and I posted the link for someone. I was like, what the world? That calculator went up that much? I don't need, I didn't even know if I wanted to even post the link because of that. But um, yeah, so just, you just have to keep checking and keep checking and then to see when the price comes back down because yeah, they can be like the other ones. They're not that expensive, but this one, I guess because it's rose gold color, it is like cute. I have it at work, y'all. Let me tell you, I have it at work and I have a couple cool workers that just come over to my, my um, desk just to be like, ain't typing nothing, ain't typing nothing. And um, I'll be like, okay, I'm like, it's it's cool, you know. I'll be like, it, yeah, it's cool, you can. <laughs> but it's so funny. And I'll just be cracking up laughing. It's super hilarious. All right, guys, so thank you so much for chilling me. And I am trying to, I'm going to try to get back on track with my videos. And um, yeah, because I have been slacking with my videos, my TikToks, my Instagram, because I've been doing orders. I've been shipping out like probably like 30, 40 orders a day. So yeah so that's where we're at all right guys so thank you so much for chilling with me i can't talk and if you did like this video guys please give it a thumbs up comment like and share subscribe to the channel so that way when i have more videos if i have some sporadic stuff like i'm doing for this week um you will catch the video and then also hop over to my instagram and my tiktok and make sure to follow me there it's called a pink cloth life and then oh yeah i'll and and then, like I'll always say, until next time, guys. Peace.